Hey, folks, Hal Shirtliff with the Camp Constitution Report. This uh, program can be viewed or listened to on YouTube, Rumble, Podomatic, iHeart, Amazon, and a whole bunch of others. Brought to you by Camp Constitution, which, among other things, runs a week-long family camp. And next year will be our 17th annual family camp. And we've been running them, well, uh, since 2009. And uh, we like like this year, we expect a full house and we'll, we will announce the uh, featured speakers or instructors. And we're expecting a couple of really uh, interesting uh, be like every year, you know, but uh, I want to get confirmation. Um, now, I uh, about a week and a half ago, I excuse me, I interviewed uh, Greg Allen Martin. Uh, and what happened was my Zoom updated uh i guess to zoom worker so all of the uh shows i had scheduled uh, i couldn't get into i was uh under the old under the old system so um greg's uh producer i should say not producer but agent said oh we'll use mine and he made me the i guess the host but for some reason i didn't have the option i didn't see the option to record so we had a great interview and then uh it never got recorded and then uh, I said, well, I, I apologize, that's rescheduled. So I was supposed to reschedule today, Friday, October 11th at 10 a.m. Uh, uh, Central Central Time. And uh, and I thought maybe you got the time zones a little mixed up. So it's after 11 o'clock, actually about 12 o'clock here in New Hampshire, in the Eastern Time Zone. So what I thought I'd do is just uh, give a little intro. He's a very interesting guy. I really enjoyed interviewing him. It's just a shame that I lost the, inter the interview, never got recorded, but... He is an actor, but for 30 years, he's a Harvard Law School graduate, and he spent 30 years as a Los Angeles prosecutor. He's a devout Christian, and uh, he's been in a number of movies. He's been in uh, theater. I guess he said that he did a lot of theater in the evenings while he was living in Los Angeles. So he was in a, a, t a show called Ozark. But his latest uh, work is Shadrach, and it is on um, Net, uh, Pure Flix. And I have the, uh, doing this screen sharing here, the Wilson family moves from the city to the country. There are a great many adjustments to be made, but when 12-year-old Anna Wilson takes a shortcut home from school, she encounters a horse that changes her family's life. And I told him that uh, that I, we can relate to that just a little bit because we were living in Boston uh, and moved up to New Hampshire. Now all my children are grown. My youngest is now... 20 years old uh, she, yeah 20 oh, i'll make that make that mistake and she's a third year nursing student but it was a little bit of adjustment for some of us i mean uh we're not exactly in the you know in the in the wilds of new hampshire but it's uh we live in a rural area you know we have uh septic instead of sewage you got to get used to that and going to the dump and um we're not we're we're, we're surrounded by wood so we get we don't have to we didn't have to worry although we did our, our share of critters believe it or not and uh in Boston, uh, we didn't have to worry about bears or you know hitting a deer that often, and uh, or porcupines coming to the coming up to the back deck and uh, looking for your dogs. But something we have to do here, and of course, it's also a lot of uh, new friends. You, you live in an area for so long, and so little things like that. And I think it's more difficult for the young younger people. So it's on Pure Flux. I think it's a six series uh, program. And it's a good, wholesome entertainment, which is hard to find. I was telling Greg back back in the days of um, the, the video stores where you'd go and rent a video, uh, the three uh, half inch uh, VHS, and then eventually DVD, and then Blu ray. And now those video stores are long gone uh, because the technology, there's still videos around. But, but we used to spend, we used to go to these video stores looking for something that we could show our children. And uh, sometimes leaving there with nothing. There was nothing worthwhile, nothing that was wholesome, nothing that was uh, of the right topic. They actually even had a family section. And most of it was just trashy stuff that was, you know, not edifying. You couldn't learn anything from it. Uh, but, uh, and now you have, of course, Netflix. Netflix has some some good program, but has a lot of junk, a lot of trash. And I think the Christian uh, consumer probably doesn't want to support something like Netflix that is not pro-family. They have a few, obviously, there's money to be made in the in the pure, in, in the good movies like this. 
family oriented with a Christian theme, you know, something that's not going to offend. And a movie doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, quoting the Bible. The, every actor quotes the Bible every 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 scene. It, but there's, you know, there's there's um, and Hollywood used to understand that. You know, there's a and Hollywood made some great movies. They may not have all been biblically based, but they didn't offend oh. in to try to destroy your morality, and they do now. I'll never forget back in uh, the late '80s, there was a movie called "The Last Temptation of Christ," which was just an abomination. You know, Jesus, uh, John was a homosexual. Jesus was a weakling, and so forth. And they Hollywood lost money on that movie, but they're not. They're okay with that as long as it promotes an agenda, which they're they're okay. They can't lose money with everything. And it comes out. What was that? Top Gun. And I haven't. My wife and I haven't seen a movie. Well, the last movie we did see in a movie theater was uh, the George Corman story, which we really enjoyed. I don't think it did very well at the box office. And it was my, uh, it was the first time we met my, who's the woman who's now my son's wife. And so we had a, we had a, the first anniversary of Nathaniel. It was a second date and it was our first time meeting her. So I think we'll do a tradition where we'll watch that movie and have a little meal or something. Uh, but I do recommend the movie. Uh, there wasn't, I don't think there was any profanity in it. You know, George Foreman was uh, rough and tumble in his younger day, came to have a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So I do recommend Pure Flex. You can find it back, surprisingly, YouTube uh, has a lot of movies uploaded on there. And you can go and find some really good movies. And in fact, I'm I'm writing a little article about movies you're not supposed to watch. You know, in other words, movies you should watch, but the uh, establishment doesn't want you to watch them. And surprisingly, some of these things are found on YouTube. How long they'll be there, we don't know. But I think it's very important that the conservative Christian consumer try to wean themselves off. I should say, do it as quickly as you can. You know, why give the enemy any more money than they already have? Now, there are times when we have no option. You know, there are times when we have to go to that particular place to buy a product. And, uh, you know, like Amazon, okay, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and do it. But uh, that's why it's, I think it's so important for us to um, to uh, to support. And, of course, there's a lot of people out there, oh, I'm a Christian, go ahead and buy my product. Uh, I remember the, the late Dr. Walter Martin, when uh, he would say, run, don't walk to the nearest exit when people come up to you and say, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian financial advice. I'm, you know, there's a lot of charlatans there too. So just because they say they're a Christian or they say that they're a wholesome company, you've got to really vet it. And, but Pure Flex has come out with some good stuff and uh, we, we encourage that. And hopefully we'll be able to get this interview um, of, um, uh, of Greg uh, Allen Martin, who, yeah, he told me that uh, he was uh, he was a law student at Harvard, and he was just enamored by all the brilliant minds around him at the time. And but he enjoyed going to Lexington and Concord to you know to kind of unwind and relax and see some of the history. So a really interesting guy. So I encourage you to watch uh, to check out this Shadrach, and uh, I think there's uh, six episodes, and there's uh, you can learn about it here. And with that, we'll uh, we'll. Wish you until next time. May God richly bless you. And again, you've been watching and listening to the Camp Constitution Report with your host, Hal Shirtliff.